What's up guys, we are back with another video. Today, I'll show you guys a game where I got 28 kills. So I thought this would be a good time to show you guys Katarina combos. So because there was a lot of fighting, I feel like there's a lot to talk about, so get to it. Now here, I wanna talk about this Q. So I throw the Q here. And what I'm doing is I'm essentially pressuring the rise to walk up. I go and hit him with two daggers and I walk away. And then I have my Q up again. And also Electrocute is coming up. So he walks up past the wave, but I have Ignites, I have my QE, and I finish him off with an E auto. So here I wanna talk about this Q that I threw out. And so this Q. So the purpose of this dagger is to pressure this cannon wave. And so I'm gonna place the dagger nearby between him and the cannon. So that if he wants the cannon, he has to walk up. And so if you know how the enemies are gonna move for CS, can place daggers prior to pressure them. You can either make them walk into it or you can either zone them out. It's a win-win for you anyway. So I have the dagger placed and he wants the cannon. So I eat W here, shave him with two daggers. I hold my E just in case. I have ignite, he's pretty low. So I'm looking at this kill angle here and the moment I get my electrocute, I QE and then I kill him off with an E auto. So here I get another trade with Rise. I eat W. And then I QE, essentially hitting all of my daggers and my autos. So here when I go on this trade for rise, I eat W and then I wait. So the reason why I wait is because I'm waiting for my Shunpo to come up. And this is going to be important for early game. And the reason why you want to wait is because if you throw out your Q too early, you can run away from the dagger before your E even comes up. And so you want to wait. For your Shunpo to come up so that you can use both your Q and E together. It's a lot easier to hit. So if you see, Q, E. And it's very hard for him to dodge. Now here again, I'm going to be pressuring the cannon. Instead of using Q, I pressure by being inside my Shunpo range. So I'm immediately able to jump in on him and do a full combo. Now after that trade, he got pretty low. And so, I want to find and engage on him. And so, I'm going to use the cannon here. So you see right now, the cannon is getting pretty low. And so I'm gonna use that to make him walk up and I'm gonna be prepared for it. And so I'm gonna move up here, to make sure that I'm able to get into Shunpo range when he goes for that cannon. And so he walks up for the cannon, he cues it. And I do the same combo, slow combo, so that I'm able to hit all of my abilities. Now here, I throw the Q, and I use it to clear the wave. And then I eat W. And then I start running away, but then I QE again so that I'm able to come out on the trade. Now, essentially what you're doing here is you're kind of juggling the cooldown of your daggers. And so I Q and then I E. And now he thinks one dagger is down. So I eat W and during this time right here, my Q cooldown is going down. And so I threw out the first Q and now my Q is coming back up again. So when I go for these trades and I'm spacing out my combos, you give yourself enough time for your Q to come up. And so you can trade back again with the Q. And so here it was pretty important because I needed the extra QE to win the trade. Now here the enemies are in Dragon Pit. So they're actually behind the Dragon Pit. So I throw the Q and I W E ult. Jump out, Q. E W Q onto the Karma, and then E to finish her off. So here I just want to highlight just good Q placement. And so, if you see where the enemies are right now, they're behind the dragon. And so I can use the dragon to set up a Q so that actually drops right here. And so I'm able to go in and instantly get my burst off. So Q, ulti, kill the Jin. Have the W to jump out to and eat WQ onto the Karma. E again to kill her. So here we have another fight in the mid lane. We see Belveth getting caught onto the side. So here, flash QE ult. And QE, pick up the dagger, set up a Q, eat W. And I E out of tower range, but Gragas ends up flashing out. So now we run, right? Now Karma wants me, I'm really low. EQ ult. E, W, Q, E, and then jump out. 
Now I want to talk about this part. Right now you see my ulti's coming up and so Karma is literally running at me right now and I feel like I might just have to stay and fight this. And so Karma goes in. I'm gonna try to burst her with my ult because I know I'm really strong right now. And so she's running up to me. The moment she flashes, I'm like, okay, I think I have to just fight. E, Q, ulti. And now you see off to the side, Gragas is actually looking at me now and I'm like one health, right? Now, no matter what the ability he uses, I have this dagger right here in order for me to dodge anything that's incoming. But what I need is the reset. And so I have to make sure this karma dies before I actually jump in. But my already my next play is going to be to jump in on that dagger. So I ult, we get the reset on the karma and Gragas is body slamming into me. And so I already knew that I was going to jump in on this dagger. Gragas misses his body slam because I jump away. And then I immediately go for the QE onto the Gragas because I know he's low. And then I jump out. Now Ryze is farming mid lane and I know I can kill this guy. So I use my mobility to jump and get an ulti in and then kill him for a free pick. So here I just want to highlight Katarina's mobility. Now what I opted to do here was go for the QE so I can get the distance. So I Q. Now the dagger is pretty close to rise, so if I jump in on this dagger here, I'm able to jump in on him even if he's like around here. Now it's important when you jump in on this dagger that you kind of wait a little bit before the dagger to land so you don't show your hand too quickly. It's a lot harder to react to. And so if you notice here, I wait for the dagger to drop first. And then I pick it up instantly with my E. So that way, I'm right in front of the rise and I have my E up again. And so immediately, I eat W ult. And then I finish him off with the E. So here's also another thing you could do where you could just like leave your W behind, right? And you see if anyone's around, you just go in. You'd be surprised at how many people fall for it. Now this is one that a lot of people know already, but I just want to show you guys again the full burst combo. So then here, E W Q ult, and then E. So the reason why this is a good burst combo is because when you E W Q and ulti, you're getting your ulti off. You're throwing out all of your abilities and also you have two daggers placed in between them. And so you're going to pick up the dagger around yourself and then you're also able to pick up this one. So essentially you're hitting all of your abilities in this one combo. In this case we didn't even need the Q dagger. So here we have the last team fight and one of our members died. And so we're going to have to be a little bit more safe with our combos. Be a little bit tricky so we don't take too much damage and prevent us from dying. So right now, 3v5. I set up the Q, and I jump out. Nuke 1, and then I go back in, use the Zhonya's, and I jump out. Now I'm still trying to itch at this fight here, because I want to fight, and I know I'm really strong, and my ulti's coming up. So here, Kaisa actually goes in and flashes in, which is like a really good play for us, because I'm able to go in and clean them up here. My team also picks up two kills and with this we're gonna end the game. So there's a couple things with this fight. Now because it's a 3v5, we have to be a little bit more careful going into this fight because it's a lot easier to get focused when they have more people, right? So I gotta be a little bit tricky. I don't want to be too up in their face. I don't want to go in and jump in and do like a full combo because a lot of times it's just gonna get instantly cancelled if I throw myself in there. And so I gotta go for safer combos and be a little bit more tricky. So here, I actually set up the Q on the Crux. I had to improvise a little bit. If you see, the Q actually lands right on top of the Belveth. And so the reason why setting up a Q like this is good is because you are going to be away from there until you actually jump in. And so it keeps you safe. And you're able to dictate whether you go in or not. So you can place the Q and see if it's a good time for you to go in. And here, I'm like, okay, I'm pretty strong. And when you jump in on a dagger like this, you get instant damage off. And so here, W, E, ult, and I instantly nuked down the Belveth. Now the reason why I used the W is because I want something to jump back to, and I knew I had the damage without it. And so I used that W dagger to instantly jump away, and I W away here. Again, going for really safe combos. As you can see, I'm placed here, but I'm placing daggers in front of me so that I have points that I could jump to if they do walk up. Now Jin has Maw of Malmordius, and so... He seems a little bit confident jumping into this. So if you see here, I jump in, I Q, and he gets a giant Maw Shield. 
And so I knew I couldn't burst anyone down here, so I went for the Zanyas, just to be safe. Because my goal here is to stay alive, but still poke at this fight and try to make them misstep or make a mistake. I throw the Q. And here, you can kind of determine like whether you want to jump in on that dagger or not while you're in Zanyas. And so here, I don't think it was a good time for me to jump in. The main reason is because I don't have my ulti. And so I'll, I kind of want to wait that out. Once I have my ulti, I know that I can go in and kill them. And so I'm going to try to itch at this fight right now until it's up. So here, I make the decision to jump out. And now, I still want to go. I know I have the damage to fight here. And my ulti is coming up in two seconds. So here, it was really good that Kai'Sa actually flashed in. Now here, if I want to jump in on the Jin, I eat W onto the Kai'Sa and I set up. But here, I eat W and then Jin actually Zhonya's. So I pick it up and I instantly flash onto the Gragas and the Karma back here. I didn't even see the Karma, but I wanted to nuke the backline instantly while Jin was in Zhonya's. So I go for the ult, QE, then we win this fight. We actually end up winning the game off this. And so that's it for this video. I just went over a lot of the combos in real time and tried to explain to you guys what combo I used and why. And so I hope that helped a lot and sort of gave you some perspective. Good game. I'll see you guys in the next video.